Hey, how's it going everybody? It's Matt Moda here with Odds Jam. And in this video, what I'm going to be doing is giving you my favorite DFS plays for today. So specifically going to be looking at prize picks, underdog, thrive, all those DFS platforms, giving you my favorite player props to add to those DFS platforms. So using Odds Jam to find plays, using the Odds Jam screen to find plays. It's pretty cool. If you're using the positive EV page, you can literally just filter specifically for prize picks, Thrive, and Underdog. And then if you are using the screen, you have all of the player props literally on one page. And you can just go through and find where you're finding outliers on prize picks, Thrive, or Underdog compared to the rest of the sports books. I'm sure everybody watching this understands how uh, these platforms work. They're like they're basically like parlays to use sports betting lingo. Uh, the only difference is it's the same uh, payout regardless of what plays you add. So you can add any two plays you want. It's going to double your money no matter what. And then if you add like five, you're going to 20x your money no matter what. So because it has the same payout for each um, number, number of selections you have, you can get the implied odds of an individual play, which is exactly what OddsDM does for you on the positive EV page. So for a five pick selection for prize picks, the implied odds are minus 111. For Thrive, or excuse me, minus 119. Sorry, prize picks is minus 119. Thrive is minus 111, excuse me. And anywhere in which you can find a player prop that has the no VIG odds that OddsDM calculates more favorable than minus 119 for a five leg, uh, on prize minus 111 for thrive and then underdog has their five leg at minus 122 so a lot of these plays are good on both of the sports books assuming they both have the same props so to give you an example this first one that we're going to add to my um five my my player prop dfs plays player props for tonight is jared allen over 26 and a half points rebounds assists so the implied odds are minus 119 on prize picks minus 122 on underdog and Ajdam calculates the perfect line of this to be minus 136. So because the Nova odds are more favorable than the prize picks and underdog odds, this is a good selection to add. Ajdam, uh, basically, this number comes from all of the different sharp sports books in the world, like the actual sports books themselves. So Ajdam back tested a bunch of betting opportunities to determine what sports books do the best job at pricing odds. Basically, let those sports books do the work for us. And anywhere in which we can beat those odds, is a good play. So for DFS platforms, anywhere in which we can get basically the Nova gods higher, more favorable than minus 119 or minus 122, is going to be a good play. So this first one, Jared Allen over 26 and a half points, rebounds, assists, is going to be my first uh, player prop to add on both prize picks and underdog. The next one, and this is actually a hockey one, we're looking at player shots on goal, uh, Ricard Raquel over two and a half shots on goal, Again, this is a play that you can add both on prize picks and underdog. The no vig line that Ajam calculates has this at about minus 130 or minus 124. We know what the implied odds are, minus 119, minus 122. And then another thing you can do, depending on how the sports books have pricing, you can click uh, like open a play like I just did and see where other sports books have odds for this for this play, like the actual sports books themselves that have different odds for every play. We see Pinnacle has this at minus 160. Pinnacle is one of the sharpest sports books in the world at pricing odds. Significantly more favorable than the implied odds that we are getting. And then FanDuel as well has it at minus 146. Same thing, significantly higher. So this Ricard Raquel is going to be my second play to add to my prize pick slash underdog. Next one that we are looking at is Nikola Jokic. And this is just going to be for prize picks. We're not looking at underdog anything. But Nikola Jokic over... 42 and a half points, rebounds, assists uh, is going to be my third one. This is only going to be on prize picks. The Thrive one that I have for you guys is KCP, Contavious Caldwell Pope, under 11 and a half points. Uh, so I have three prize picks, two underdog, one Thrive. Now I'm going to go to the screen and give you some more plays. Uh, the first one that we are going to lock in here, and this is going to be specifically on prize picks. We're looking at Fred Van Vliet to go under. 24 and a half points. So the reason why I like this one is every other actual sports book that is pricing this play has it below the 24 and a half. Like Pinnacle has it at 23 and a half and they favor it going under, right? They have it a full point lower and they have the under as the more likely scenario. 
DraftKings has it at 23 and a half as well. Points bet has it a full two yards lower at 20 or two points lower at 22 and a half. So even less likely to hit the point total according to points bet. So all of these sports books have him going under the, the implied or the point total that we are getting on price picks. This is going to be my fourth price picks one. I wouldn't touch it on um, underdog. I don't think it's worth getting it at 23 and a half. And then the last play that I'm going to lock in here uh, for my price picks. So rounding out the five is Shea Gildress Alexander under 28 and a half points. Pinnacle prices this a point lower, favors the under, as does every other major sports book, except for points bet, but they also favor it going under. So they have it at 28 and a half. I know Shea has been balling, so this one makes me a little nervous, but Toronto has one of the best defenses in the NBA. So if anybody's going to be able to slow him down, it will be Toronto. So this is going to be my fifth and final prize picks play for you guys tonight. And that's it. So if you're tailing these, 20xing your money using price picks, let me know, comment on the video, but that's all I got. So I do appreciate you guys watching and have a good one.